Hello nerds, thank you for watching Jelly Nerdy. This is your Weekend Nerddom Gaming Edition for the week of July the 23rd, 2018. This week in gaming, again, we've got stuff from San Diego Comic Con, just a little bit for gaming, and Killer Instinct and things and stuff, so let's hit that intro real quick. Quiet on the set, rolling. Hi, I am Bitsy Tellick. Hey, I'm Hale Appleman. I'm Walter Kane. I'm Rene Aubergenois. Odo on Deep Space Nine. Michael Dorn, Lieutenant Commander of War, Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, come and see me and hear me and talk to me and listen to me talk about myself. Hey man, this is Kevin Smith, often considered generally nerdy, and you are listening to what is often considered generally nerdy. On Generally Nerdy. Yeah. You're listening to... Generally Nerdy. Yeah, generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. So the first big thing for gaming this week is Killer Instinct. Microsoft announced that they are doing a live stream on Tuesday. Again, I record this on Sunday, so the live stream has not happened. If there's something noteworthy that happens in the live stream, I will definitely insert it here. But if nothing happened just now, then, then there wasn't any more news than this. It is anticipated that we will be getting a fourth season for Killer Instinct. I, I don't know who else, if any, uh, classic characters there might be, but we could be seeing a couple of more uh, guest characters and some more original characters, which in the fighting game landscape right now, it seems like most of the big names are super heavily reliant on their old school characters. Anything that's been created in the last 10 years is really going on the back of something that was created 20 years ago or more. So... That's, I'm, I'm super excited for the prospect of new characters in My Killer Instinct. And we're going to kick on next is Spider-Man for the PS4. What we once heard was a no is now, I can't say for fear of uh, ruining it or what, no, what was the quote? I don't want to spoil anything. That's what they said. Um, they're at San Diego Comic-Con talking to people and somebody brought up the multiple the, the possibility for multiple um, protagonists and we got we there was a thing uh, two three weeks ago about how no you're only going to be spider-man in this in this game now also apparently sometime in the last while I didn't even see when this happened but they had announced that miles Morales was going to be in the game too and playable so maybe what they were saying was you'll only be one protagonist at a time but it definitely sounded like there was only going to be Peter Parker, Spider-Man, and that was who you're going to play throughout the game. And it was just going to touch on a lot of the villains. But now it's they're saying, well, we don't want to spoil anything. And I, yeah, that's, I mean, that's going to be... I, the biggest thing, though, is going to be if they do any sort of multiplayer. and Because you can have as many protagonists, spider-oriented protagonists as you want, but that isn't necessarily going to change gameplay uh, or maybe it is maybe maybe uh spider gwen is going to play differently than than peter parker or even miles morales is going to be different than peter parker whichever spider person they include uh could feasibly play differently or equally as likely they're just going to put a different skin on the same character model uh don't know anything right now because again they're trying not to spoil it but it's interesting to think about right next we have soul caliber 6 update we have been keeping our eyes pretty close to this one they just announced today i believe uh that valdo is going to be in this in soul caliber 6 and valdo has been my my secondary my second main whatever uh for the whole time. I mean, my dude is always Yoshimitsu, but like Voldo is a lot of fun to play too. The, the you can ch check the trailer down in the description. It looks pretty great. Voldo, I mean, we know what to expect with him at this point, so no super surprises from what I could see. Just looks like super smooth gameplay. And I don't know if we had this before, but October 19th is the official release date for the game as well. Again, I can't remember if we talked about that before or not, but we're putting it in today anyway. 
Next up, we are talking about the new LEGO game, LEGO DC Super Villains. Again, link in the description to the trailer from San Diego Comic-Con. Uh, the big thing I feel like that's worth noting, because by and large, this looks like every other lego game which is pretty solid gameplay but we know exactly what to expect right except this is the first one i've seen and i could be wrong but this is the first one i've seen that has a character creation uh, option and the character creation looks like it's super in depth so there's all kinds of awesome that you can do with this i'm sure uh very likely they'll they'll try and limit your ability to make a villain that looks like the rival company's villains, but I'm sure we're going to see all kinds of awesome videos of people playing uh, this D this Lego DC supervillains and making all kinds of Marvel supervillains or even any of the superheroes uh, with this character creation, depending on how deep. It looks like it's really deep, but looks can be deceiving, especially in these trailers. And then our last bit of gaming news this week, guys, is Mario Kart. Mario Kart uh, there's no real update yet on the actual game, but we're getting Hot Wheels, Mario Kart Hot Wheels. This is something I wanted when the first one came out for my Super Nintendo. This looks so awesome, and they're going to be relatively cheap. They're, kinda, they're coming out at five bucks a pop. You're seeing them right here right now, and oh... I, again, this is something I wanted as a child with a Super Nintendo in my hand and Mario Kart playable and oh, this looks so cool. Uh, there is, the only thing we know about the actual game, there is a slight update, uh, Shinya Takahashi, who is a producer on the game, I believe, uh, says that they are going to put, be putting out more content for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which is the port of the Wii U Mario Kart 8 over onto the Switch. Um, no word on when the Switch is going to get its very own exclusive Mario Kart game, but as these things come out, we will definitely be talking about them right here on Generally Nerdy, and that is how we end this week's episode. What did I miss, guys? What should we talk about next week? Definitely let me know in the comments down low. If, though, you want to go deeper into the conversation, jump over to the website, generallynerdy.net. That is the place you can join the conversation. You can get your nerdy swag through the store links. There's also links to the social medias. Everything is up on generallynerdy.net. Also, the link to the Patreon page is up on generallynerdy.net. All of these links you can find as well down in the description. Patreon, though, patreon.com slash generallynerdy is the place to go if you want to support the channel a little more directly. You can jump on. There's four different tiers. The lowest tier is just a dollar a month, and you effectively double your content for just one dollar a month. So go check it out, patreon.com slash that's generally nerdy. If you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button. If you like this episode, click the like button. If you are falling behind in your nerd news and you want to catch up, click or tap that box right there to the left of my face to do that. But before we go, before we click boxes and things, guys, always, always remember that if it's generally nerdy, it's probably here. <laughs>